Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and today we're going to be taking a look at another holster from a company called Hidden Hybrid Holsters. They make some of the nicest hybrid holsters that you're going to find on the market today. You might remember that I actually did a review of a couple different holsters that they had pretty recently, actually, maybe in the last month or so. Uh, one of them that I did was a full size inside the waistband or outside the waistband. Currently, I have it in the outside the waistband configuration. Uh, holster for the M&P Shield 9mm. Uh, here you can see this is where the clips used to be. I took those off so that I could run it as an outside the waistband holster or you could put the clips back on. Run it as an extremely comfortable inside the waistband holster with really nice leather backing right there. And on that one I have the uh, tan Kydex shell. And on this one right here, this is an inside the waistband holster again, but this one is set up for uh, appendix carry. So you can see it's very minimalist. Again, it has the really nice soft leather to it and a great shell, excellent retention. The clip works fantastic. Both great holsters and I absolutely love them. But what I wanted to try out was a holster that they have uh, that actually supports the Streamlight TLR1. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. This is their outside the waistband holster. This particular one is in carbon fiber and it holds a Streamlight TLR1. Okay, so here's a closer look at the holster, and I've been using this for about five weeks now. I, th I think it's been about five weeks, and I am as impressed with this holster as I am with the other two. It is extremely comfortable. The retention is great. The shell is absolutely perfect, and the way that they do this is they've managed to make it as minimalist as possible so that you don't have so much holster to get in the way. Now, here's what I like about a holster like this, where it is a hybrid outside the waistband holster, meaning that it's Kydex in the front and leather in the back. What I like is, is that this part of the holster actually kind of forms to your body. So it kind of takes the shape of your belt, it wraps around your waist, and then all you're left with is the actual Kydex shell that sticks out. And you can see here that it's, it's fairly minimalist, especially for a light bearing holster. Sometimes when you get light bearing holsters, they tend to be pretty wide or they use a lot of material. And this one doesn't do that. It holds the flashlight absolutely perfect and gives it the good retention that you're looking for, but at the same time, kind of keeping that minimalist feature. So again, you have the leather that wraps around your body. The Kydex shell is the only thing that remains firm and we still have excellent retention. Now, here's what it looks like right here. This is with just a leather backing and you can see it's a, this is actually um, a, a pretty heavy gun. This is a Glock 17 and this Glock 17 right here with this flashlight is even heavier and it doesn't come out even though there's no active pressure on the back of the leather. So when you're wearing a holster like this, a lot of times you get that retention by the added pressure from your belt. So the belt goes through the belt loops right here, it holds the holster on, and then as your body presses against that and the Kydex, you get the uh, retention that you want. But this one actually manages to hold on to it perfect, uh, even without that added tension from your body. So I like that a lot as well. Now this particular one right here in carbon fiber, that's just an aesthetics thing. I mean, you can choose different colored shells, you can choose different color Kydex, and you can choose different styles. I like the carbon fiber, I just think it looks really nice. And here you can see the uh, the flashlight, the way that they have the flashlight molded in uh, is excellent as well. So let's go ahead and pull this out so we can take a look at it. Again, just a standard Glock 17, nothing fancy, but it does have that flashlight attached to the front of it there. And because this is sort of my home defense go-to pistol, uh, that's why I wanted something that was easy to install, easy to put on and outside the waistband that held that uh, in case, you know, I was able to holster it. Chances are I'm not. I'm just going to be grabbing this off the nightstand, but still nonetheless, uh, this is a great option for uh, a home defense type pistol. If you want to put it in there and then maybe keep it by your nightstand or put it inside a safe so you can just grab this with the holster. It also helps protect the trigger guard while it's in the safe. Uh, you know, things like that. So a great holster. You can see right here, one of the things that I also like is that it's not completely open at the bottom. Uh, right here, you can see that they actually did fold the Kydex over, which is going to protect the lens of your light, also going to be uh, protecting the front end of your firearm. So I do like that it's at least partially enclosed right there. So if I sit down on my keys or, you know, anything like that, uh, hard in my truck, I mean, it could be just a multi-tool that I have laying around to work on one of my guns. It's not going to smash that front lens on my flashlight. So just little added features like that. But again, the retention is great. Uh, the craftsmanship is fantastic. All nice fastening materials. Uh, you can see the fasteners on the back right there. There is no stitching. This is a one piece design, as you can see right there. Very nice leather, extremely soft and very comfortable. So the difference between, I would say, a holster like this that allows the leather versus the Kydex is without having the clips, so the plastic clips, you don't really have to worry about anything breaking, about the clips maybe coming loose over time or the plastic stretching out. Uh, leather is going to maintain its 
uh, structural integrity for a lot longer than some of the other plastic things that I've seen on the market today. But it's just an option. I mean, some people like, you know, other types of fastening devices, and they also sell other holsters that have different, you know, types of fasteners on them as well that you can use uh, for different types of belts and carry styles, really. So this is a really cool holster. I mean, I, I like it a lot. It's actually become one of my favorites. It's definitely my go-to when it comes to the Glock 17. I have some other holsters as well that are pretty good, but this one right here, uh, it just kind of has all the best of both worlds, the best of the features that I want. I like something that's a little bit uh, minimalist, even though it's a kind of a big gun with that extra light attached to it. I like something a little bit minimalist. Uh, and this uh, fits the bill for just about everything that I need. It holds the gun tight holds it nice and close to my waist and uh, it holds it with great retention so that's uh, some some of the things that i like and it protects the trigger guard which is what a holster is supposed to do anyway there it is right there i'll put a link in the description box to hidden hybrid holsters and where you can pick up a holster like this thank you all very much for watching please like subscribe have a great day